Winner Trader Rundown today, Dan Deming of KKM Financial joins us. And Dan, I have to think that the market is still digesting that blowout jobs number that came into the market on Friday. Yeah, absolutely, Angela. It was kind of the equalizer after the bad report in May and then the very positive report in June. And we got a second follow up to the positive report in June. Another thing to point out in that number last week was the upward revision to the June number. It went to 292 from 266. So that even made it even stronger. And also looking at the activity when you look at the wage inflation there, that's something that a lot of market participants were looking at as well, because you did see an uptick in the, in the wage number there that's viewed as a positive, particularly on the inflation front moving forward. What's your thought? Will this motivate the Fed to make a move in September? I No, I still don't believe no? so. And the market's hedging against it. I can tell you last week, once that number came out early in the morning, we saw it go from a 12% chance to an 18% chance in September. Now it went up to 40% chance in December. So I still think possibly December, but more than likely still going to hold off until 2017. Dan, with this latest jobs report, is it time for investors to start thinking, the economy is doing a-okay? Then, in, the, in that realm of the economy, I think it's a very positive number. When you look at, like I said, that two two months in a row now, when we see the, the positive revisions as well, also looking at that wage inflation is viewed as a positive. The Fed's going to be keeping a very close eye on that. That's something they've been waiting for and looking for. So, in that respect, yeah, this is a, a plus and a big plus in the plus column. I'd like to see some of the revenue growth and the earnings numbers start to continue to maybe you know stop from go from a declining perspective to an incline. You know, that's something that I think a lot of market participants are looking for when you look over the next couple of quarters but certainly the jobs number is a very sound number given some foundation here to this market and we saw the reaction last week where would you put your money small caps big caps uh, what's your you choice know, you have I to think, pick one <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm still I'm, I'm still more in, in the larger cap area and the reason why Angie is we, is we did see the bond market react negatively to that number and like I said we did see an uptick in the expectations for rate hikes that's going to strengthen the dollar so the st a stronger dollar moving forward would serve as a headwind to the smaller caps because again they depend on the exporting of American goods so I think that possibly you know if I had to pick one it would be the large caps particularly when you look at the activity in some of the areas then you look at a Microsoft you look at some of these other Apple now coming back some of the bigger names really trending very positively right now for, for absolutely Microsoft near a 16-year high no, really knew? ripping high thank you for coming on the show I put you on the spot you did thanks for having me